When you were hired in December, you called this your dream job. A week into fall camp, how's it been so far? You know, every day I come in, I still got a smile on my face. You know, you get a chance to work every day with 18 to 22 year olds and what a platform to have as a coach. But like you said, being able to be here at home and when I drive in the campus in the morning, I'm still excited about it. You know, we're in uh, day five of camp and this is where the grind starts, but it doesn't change. I mean, I love being here and I love being back home. The quarterback position, Josh Jackson comes over from Virginia Tech. How's he looked so far? We can assume he's the projected number one. How's he looked? Yeah, it's hard to assume. We got a big scrimmage Saturday, which will that'll really give us an opportunity to evaluate where we are at the quarterback position. But the thing we really like about Josh, I like about Josh, is just his decision making. You can tell through five practices that he's a guy that's played in a lot of games. He has a toolbox full of experience from being a starter, which you know it's it's very pleasing to see with the way he's made decisions and have taken care of the ball. So, but this Saturday will be the first opportunity for the coaches to be off the field, to be as in a game-like situation as you can put them in and see where these guys are. One guy who's not going to be on the field, unfortunately, is Jayshon Jones. How disappointing is that for a guy who showed so much promise last year? It's disappointing when you lose a player like Jay Sean and with what he was able to do last year as a true freshman, was a guy that we expected to count on to be one of our players. But we understand that injuries are a part of the game. And as I told our team, we've got to keep a, a next man up mentality and it opens up some doors and opportunities for some of the other guys to have to step up and really try to see if we can uh, not necessarily replace, but pick up where he left off. And so we got, that's the one position we feel like we have depth now we need to see some of these guys grow up and, and become playmakers for us. And finally, we all know where this program is coming from just a year ago. How much is Jordan's presence felt and how would you describe the overall atmosphere, vibe, culture of this program as we enter the 2019 season? You know, I think the big thing with Jordan is that we've embraced the uh, the, all, every aspect of him not being here with us and our players understand, you know, the way we're going to honor Jordan and this is something that the players came up with is we want to honor him with how we compete on Saturdays, how we practice day to day and then how we prepare because those are the three things that we know that Jordan was all about. He was a great competitor. He was a guy that really worked hard doing practice and he prepared himself. So we're going to carry that spirit with us as we push through the season.